Hello students, this is Divya Kumari Meenu, Assistant Professor, Corwin Girls College, Sikandra. Welcome all of you in the class of English Literature of BA Part First Year. So today's topic is about the poem Puli, written by George Herbert, who was born in 1593 and died in 1633. <clears throat> He was a metaphysical poet. He was a great devotee of God. He was a priest. <clears throat> and in the, in the poem, Puli is also devoted to God. So, let us begin with the poem. <clears throat> When God at first met man, having a glass of blessings, standing by, let us said, he pure on him all we can. Let the world's riches, which dispersed lie, contract into a span. George Herbert is a metaphysical writer, so this is a metaphysical poem. So here when the God was creating his creature, man, he was giving him so many qualities. So he says when God at first met man, for the first time when God was creating man, having a glass of blessings standing by, while creating man, God has a glass of blessings let us said he the god said let us pure on him all we can let us give all the blessings whatever we have whatever blessings god have he give all the blessings to men let the world's riches <clears throat> He wanted to give all the riches, all the treasures of the world to his creature, man, which dispersed lie. All the riches, all the qualities, all the blessings which were spreading everywhere, he wanted to give the man all the qualities. So strength first made a way. So from his glass of blessings he gave firstly the strength to the man then beauty flocked after the strength he gave the man beauty then wisdom after beauty he gave him intelligency power of thinking and reason honor he gave him respect and pleasure all kind of happiness from his glass of blessing when almost was out while giving the blessing when everything was given God made a stay God stopped when the glass was to be emptied the god stopped suddenly perceiving that alone all his treasures rest in bottom lay the god sees that he has given all his treasures to men there a little has spared in the bottom of the glass what if i should said he bestow this jewel also on my creature when the god has almost given to his creature his creation man a little bit was spared there so the god thought if 
I should bestow this jewel also on my creature. If I would give the last treasure or last blessing to men, he would adore my gifts instead of me. The God will not adore the men will not adore or respect or the man will not pray to God. He will forget God if he would give every kind of pleasure, every kind of happiness to man. If the man would be satisfied, he would he would not he would not remember God. So he made a halt, he stopped suddenly and rest in nature, not God of nature. So if the God would have given all kind of blessings and treasures to man, the man will not pray to God. He will not pray to God and he will feel rest in nature. He will not feel rest in the God of nature. So both should lose, losers be and after that both man and God will become losers. So suddenly he stopped and he did not give the last treasure to men. Yet let him keep the rest and God think that but the God thing to give rest to men, but keep them with repining restlessness. But while giving the men the feeling of rest, God also give the men the feeling of restlessness, which will not make men fully satisfied. So, let him be rich and weary. So the God men made so the God made men rich with all the treasures, but he also make him weary and also give him the feeling of tiredness. So if when the men will feel tired mentally, emotionally and physically he will remember God otherwise he would never remember God if he has every kind of blessings and treasures so with the richness God gave him weariness that at least if goodness led him not yet weariness may toss him to my breast so all of the goodness which the God has given to men, if that will not bring the man to God, because of them, if God will not if man will not remember God, but because of that weariness, because of that mental, spiritual, emotional and the physical weariness, the man will devote himself towards God and he will never forget God. So the title of the poem is Puli. Puli is a kind of thing which which pull somebody towards something. So the through not giving the feeling of total rest rest and by making men tired and just because of that weariness the men will be moved towards God and God will pull him towards him through that 
feeling of restlessness and weariness.